Hello and a warm welcome to my channel. In this video, I have tried to decode the derivative data after the massive rally we saw on Friday, March the 3rd, with the global queues being strong and a gap opening in the lower time frame. So let's see uh, what did the data finally end up with all the participants uh, and what lies ahead for us from here onwards for this week, which is going to be a truncated week because of Holi. So let's start with the index futures. We've been seeing the FIs were building a lot of index shots. And yesterday, did they cover? They covered a large quantity of futures covering out here, as well as some FIs further added longs. We saw that a few FIs were adding last week, but a bigger quantity now, almost double of what was there last week, and huge short cover from them. But they still remain net short on the index. We saw the DIs also do that, covering shorts and some longs added out here. And surprisingly, the DIs have not done much hedging on the other end. In fact, they covered stock future shorts, added some longs. So at this, perhaps at this level, the DIs uh, do not see the market falling too much. Maybe they don't feel like their, their head scenario is not... Uh, at least on Friday, based on this data, we'll see how they go ahead. Do they continue to cover like this, which will be a much more stronger sign for the market. The prop desk, which was had covered a little bit on Thursday, has gone aggressively bearish uh, on Friday. So further adding shots. So in that rally, they've been adding more shots. They didn't do any short covering. While the clients unwinded. So all the clients, you know, bulk of the clients, quite a big quantity who were trying to be bullish in the fall in the first recovery, the second recovery, the first being 250 to 400. And then the next one from 300 to 600, they feel that time to short, good quantity short added, good long unwinding also seen from clients out here. So these are perhaps, uh, Maybe those who had bought as a BTST had exited and some have further shorted. Uh, I could be horribly wrong, but these people could be some of them who shorted at lower levels, did not square and again average, which is not a good sign. But again, I could be wrong in this analysis, in this part of it. Now in the call put of the index, this is a very good sign we are seeing. FII is back to one is to one. So remember, this was a huge... 1 is to 2.75. Now they are back to 1 is to 1, which is again a fantastic size. You can see the kind of uh, short covering they have done yesterday in the put. Uh, so, you know, the, the call, uh, long calls added. You can see some short covering. So, this is basically a hedge. Uh, huge quantity of put shorted from them. And even though they bought put, so this is more like a, a bear put spread done by them or something like that, but uh, very good ratio set up from the FIs out here going forward. So they, they're covering, they're putting the white flag up now finally out here. The prop desk, which was heavily bearish on the start of this weekly settlement, you can see 150 was their opening shot and very little put. So they were uh, not bearish, but they were definitely not bullish, have now taken a switch. They have got very little quantity of call shots now. Massive covering from them took place. Added a lot of long calls out here. So one side they are shorting futures and one side they are buying long calls. So come kind of a hedge trade strategy going on out there from them. But look at the put short. There's a decent quantity of put short. So they maybe they don't feel that the market will go up much, but definitely won't fall according to them. So a lot of these trades taking place out there. The clients who are trying to save this market from falling were continuously selling puts in the decline and buying calls. Now it suddenly feel that the upside is capped. Now it's their turn to short. Look at the quantity of call shots done. You know, massive quantity shots spread. And even in the put side, we can see this. But, you know, there are two things in this first. The first is quite obvious to the screen that the clients do not see much happening this week, maybe due to the uh, festival holiday of Holi and truncated week. So they don't see much movement happening. So maybe that's why 
they are blocking both the ends via strangles. But the other interesting thing is, look at the net ratio. This, I could be totally wrong in this interpretation because all clients cannot be doing the same thing. This is a one is to one net position in calls as well as an almost one is to one net position in puts. So either bulk of the clients are doing a condor out here and holding on to it or uh, just looks like that but this could be totally wrong because all clients can't be doing the same thing but this is something which propped up on my mind when i spotted this so just sharing that with you. now let's have a look at uh, the stock futures oh decent quantity again fii short cover so you saw we saw short covering happening last week also from them and mild longs added but this time the longs are more. so here also we can see that the fii's also likely feel that the stocks could now start performing. This amount is getting healthier out here. Uh, DI is also good covering. Prop desk and clients, this time both of them on the same page. Uh, prop desk, short sided, clients, longs unwinding taking place. So both of them in almost in the same path. Uh, looking to exit longs or add shorts out in the options page for after a long time we see fis taking a bullish stand also the prop desk taking a bullish stand while clients doing the opposite after a very long time trying to reduce long calls and uh, adding puts in the for monday the support in nifty comes in at 17475 while the resistance comes in at 17725. Uh, with that, I end this video. Have a great week, everyone. Bye bye.